The first thing we notice is that on the main vertical y-axis, we have the head pressure, and on the vertical x-axis, we have the flow rate. Basically speaking, the head is pressure, and the flow rate is how much water the pump can move. So what do these charts represent? If we turn the pump sideways and connected it to a pipe, the pump is pushing the liquid horizontally, so there is no pressure, but the water is flowing at its maximum flow rate. As we slowly rotate the pump towards the vertical position, we see the flow rate decreases, but the pressure increases. That's because it's now pushing against the water and the friction. As we get all the way to the vertical position, there is zero water flowing out of the pump, but maximum pressure. And that's because it's using all its energy to push against the water and hold it as high as it possibly can within the pipe. At this point, it's just spinning the same bit of water, which isn't good for the pump, so you don't want to run a pump like this in the real world. By recording the values during the elevation, we basically get our pump curve. Although I will note that pump manufacturers don't test pumps this way because it's just not practical.